But first, how about uh, a little scares? How about that? <laughs> we really are doing like a whole genre yeah. of entertainment, right? Laughs, wrestling, now scares. I like it. Because Tayana Edwards from Taste and See Tampa Bay is doing the homework for us, so we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> How you ladies doing today? Good. And I'm happy that you went on this assignment, not us. Yeah. <laughs> I will admit I am a big scaredy cat. I am a baby when it comes to stuff like this, but more than happy to go out there and explore some great things for you guys. So the uh, uh, Great Adventure, giant, I'm sorry, the Giant Adventure series continues. So summer may be over, but we're still gonna explore some great things here in the Tampa Bay area this fall and into the holiday season. So what better way to kick it off than with some spooky frights at Sir Henry's Haunted Trail. This is in Plant City and basically it is some haunted trails woven throughout the woods um, and it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> All right, we're ready to hit the road for some spooky Halloween fun. And we're doing it in a 2020 Atlas Crossport by Volkswagen. There's leather seating, an amazing sunroof. What more could you ask for? We made it to Plant City, which is home to Sir Henry's Haunted Trail, which has been ranked one of the most haunted attractions in Florida. The Sir Henry's Haunted Trail is a haunted attraction here in Plant City, Florida. We're an outdoor haunted attraction, a little different than most haunted houses. We have three different trails, all three different themes. The themes change each year. Our first one is called the Candy Tree. It's set in the 1920s, kind of vintage Halloween trick-or-treaters that are being hunted by a mythical creature that comes out on Halloween. I hope you want some candy. The second trail is called Marionette of the Dead. Uh, it's based in a funeral home where a uh, schizophrenic puppet creator is squatting in the house and she's creating puppets for a show out of dead body parts, but she's running out of body parts. Oh, jeez. Okay. And then lastly, our last trail is called Midnight Slaughter. This is our kind of blood guts house. It features a family named the Browns and they have found a secret uh, for growing their crops in the midst of the family and that's human flesh. The cool thing about this one is that it's actually lights out. So guests get an almost uh, pitch black experience when they're going through this trail. Our trails are longer than some of the traditional haunted houses maybe you guests have experienced. Uh, that's one of the things we pride ourselves on. Uh, definitely it's going to take you at least about 8 to 12 minutes to go through each trail. <laughs> There's definitely a, a kind of a magical aspect to our event out here. You know, it's out in the woods. And I think we offer a really unique experience, unlike anything else in the area. All right, we are both done with the scares. That's a wrap. It's time to go home. <laughs> Our giant adventure continues. And living in the Sunshine State means adventure all year long. Your auto giant will put you on the road to the best spot. Mention Taste and See, and I'm going to give you $1,000 in bonus cash. Here you go. Let's hit the road. It'll be giant. <laughs> Carly, you look upset. <laughs> I seriously, like I, whatever you define your worst nightmare at, like, that's it for me. Like there's no, like, that looked absolutely terrifying. I realize some people enjoy that, but nope. Yeah, you know, my, my best friend tagged along and any laughter you heard in the background of that video was most likely her laughing at my expense because I was absolutely <laughs> terrified. Here's what I know. I, I feel like I'm having a panic attack just watching it. Well, here, I liked how you and your friend change spots sometimes. Like she was in the front. I think that was probably done intentional, right, Tayana? Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm like, all right, you, you, you go ahead. You go first this time around. <laughs> but it was such a fun experience. I loved it. We got to take out a 2020 uh, BW Atlas Crossport from Volkswagen Newport Ritchie. It was a great car to go out there and uh, explore the area with. But it's it's if if you love scary things, 
Absolutely. If you don't, it's still fun to go. Let your friends laugh at you. It's it's all right. It's a fun time. Then go, maybe. You know, it's funny, Carly, and maybe you felt this way. So you, I always say this is my first non-sports job. And I remember thinking I wanted to go into morning television, but I knew all the different things we would have to cover. And some of the things I was worried about, um, I'm a picky eater, so eating everything, which is still sometimes <laughs> like, oh, do I want to go? Um, haunted houses, which of yeah. course you have to talk about, and snakes, which I attempted to get hypnotized for on the show and get over. So we talked about all of those things that I wasn't looking forward to. Carly, I know you feel me in this one. No, I do. I'm telling you. Again, Tana, I'm glad you went out and did that assignment for us. <laughs> yes. Uh, yep. I, I was so going to say, it, it, was, it was glad you survived. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, from one fun things to check out this weekend and throughout the whole month of October, make sure to check out tasteandseetampabay.com for more spooky fun and some more family-friendly stuff, too. You'll see it on there. All right. <laughs>